Hi uh, everyone, um, it is time for me to do the ubiquitous how to clean your chainsaw chains video. Um, this is this is quite an odd one to do because I, I've known about this for years and I've done this for years. It's, it's nothing I would ordinarily think you would need to actually um, do a video about. But other people seem to do them and I get asked about it so here's mine. Anyway, here are the actual um, the chains in question. <laughs> I have a rubber glove on. The, the reason for this will become clear soon. Um, my chains get used in forestry environments a lot, so they do pick up a lot of softwood sap, a lot of pine sap, a lot of spruce sap, which is very thick, very very gunky, unpleasant stuff. Um, focus that in there. Um, the the, when I first started working, when I first started working with um, not very pretty. When I first started working with uh, chainsaws, the old guys would say, "Oh, you just soak your chains in diesel, soak them in petrol or gasoline." And even then, I used to think, "Well, that's that's very wasteful. That's that's very bad for the environment, and it's probably dangerous as well." So, um. I spent a bit of time trying to figure out what I could what I could do instead, and I just say now is I don't use any sort of volatile um, chemicals to clean the chains. What I use is just something you find um, something you find in your local your local supermarket. Um, what I find works best these soda crystals. Now this is not the really strong industrial caustic soda. This is just the stuff that you that you buy in your local store and it says here yeah, cleans sinks and drains, freshens washing machines, use in every wash, plus many more uses. It doesn't say chainsaws, but that's one of the many more uses. Um, and I'm going to show you just how effective this stuff is. It's a lot safer than using really strong chemicals and it is a lot more effective. It's also a lot quicker. So we're going to start off with hot water. This does actually work perfectly well with cold water, but hot water makes it quicker. If you're working with some some really um, if you're working with some really tricky sap, for instance, chili and pine, or um, uh, what you call a monkey puzzle tree, which is awful stuff, then um, then you need hot water really. You don't put much in. It says what about a cup? which is an American measure, not that much. I'm going to get something to stir this. Not because this is particularly toxic, dangerous um, stuff. I mean, I wouldn't drink it, but it, 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 won't, it won't dissolve your skin. In very high concentrations, the advice is a lot, avoid prolonged contact. So that's that. Mixed in. Let's find, let's find a, um, a bad chain. That one's not too bad. That one's quite clean. That one's quite clean. That one looks a bit gunky. Okay, so take the chain, we're gonna drop it in. The reason I have the gloves on now becomes apparent. This water is hot. Now I don't know if you can see, but straight away, I hope you can see this straight away, that dirt is starting to dissolve out. That grease is beginning to come out just can you see the the change in the colour of water there? I'm gonna put the lights on actually. It's a sunny day but the lights might help. Can you see the the dirt coming out of that? I'm not even doing anything with it at the moment. I just I'm just gently swelling the water around. So I'm do this without burning my hand. Now straight away, I don't know if you can see, but straight away, that is cleaner. I haven't, I haven't even actually um, got a scrubbing brush in there or anything yet. That is cleaner. To my mind, that is clean enough now to go on an automatic chain sharpening machine. Let's get the rest in there. When you have a lot of chains that are really dirty, it is so satisfying to drop them all into this mix. Okay, let's begin to agitate. Look at the muck coming out of there. Look at that dirt. 
all this is just common or garden soda crystals and like I say it's not even the industrial strength, strength caustic soda um, it's fine on your hands look at that if these are really dirty what I may do is um, put in a squirt of uh, fairy liquid washing washing up liquid um, I may put in uh, I may take it out of here <laughs> difficult to believe isn't it I may take it out of here and I may if it's very dirty I may um, just wash it in a soapy solution first one thing I do not do one thing I I've never done for years is actually wash my chains in anything like um, uh, fuel, diesel, petrol. That is a very bad thing to do. Do not do it. This stuff is so cheap, it's so easily accessible, there's no reason for you to be using anything else. Now you saw the state of the chains. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> you saw the state of the chains when they went in. These are coming out very clean. Now what I may do, depending on the, the chain, um, you see some of the, the links here, it's dissolved. The, the grime and the dirt, see so it's dissolved it, however it's still on there. What I may do with some of the, um, what I may do with some of the, uh, the more grimy chains, I'll just get a brush. And I'll just brush them off like this, just to loosen the, the dirt and finally get rid of it. That's all that's required. You notice I'm not using any hand protection here. This stuff isn't particularly caustic. It isn't particularly tough on the skin. I'll wash my hands afterwards. Ah, oh, that is hot. That is very, very hot. What I'll probably do now is I'll just leave these. So, and after come back later, when it's cooled down a bit, take them out and show you how clean they are. Okay, I've now moved across to the sink because I've got some better light here. Now, I'm just going to show you the state of one of these chains. So, can you see? the ingrained dirt there. Looks like rust. Can you see that? <laughs> the, even though it's, it's bright light today, it's not very, it's not very good. It, it looks like rust. Now, if you soak this in petrol, you'll not get that off. Even if you then scrub it, you will not get that off. Once it's had a few minutes soaking in the soda crystal solution, Going to very gently scrub it. Look at that. I hope you can see just how well, just how easily that's come off. That chain has come back as though it's brand new. That's how effective this method is. Okay, so a couple of minutes later, I've given them a, I've given them a quick scrub. I'm going to give them a rinse. One thing I will say is, um, don't let this solution dry on your chains because you'll get a sort of a white powdery residue. Um, it is in like a crystalline solution, and when it dries, it will it will go back into its original crystal powder form. I hope you can see just how clean those chains are. Let's give them a quick rinse. Don't want to I've got one down <laughs> in the sink there. That will not end well. I literally started this video about six minutes ago. Um, the chains, when they went in, four of them 
One of them looked quite bad, one of them looked reasonably bad, two of them didn't look too bad at all. Look at the dirt that's come out of them. Um, and because <laughs> one of the benefits as well is, uh, of this method is um, because we're not using um, fuel based cleaning solutions or just using household cleaning products which are designed for cleaning sinks when we're finished we can just pull them down the sink Got a rinse. Done. There we go. In whatever that was, six minutes, seven minutes, we've gone from absolutely filthy chains to lovely, clean, shiny chains, ready for the sharpener. I hope this has been useful to you. Please do like and please do subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more chainsaw videos soon we're getting in that time of year now where um, work really begins to pick up the domestic work rather than the forestry work which we're trying to focus on in the winter so there will be more videos Oops, there will be more videos coming okay thanks for watching see you next time